Encoders are commonly used in industry to monitor and control the pace of conveyor belts. It's often necessary to synchronize the motion of a conveyor with that of a processing station. So it's important to have a well-functioning encoder and to be able to accurately diagnose problems when they arise. In our example, we have a conveyor that started behaving erratically, most notably when the conveyor speeds up, but we're not sure if the problem lies with the encoder or the controller. Our first step is to measure the encoder output with our digital multimeter. We measure the peak max voltage as well as the digital signal frequency and duty cycle, but everything appears to be normal. So then we spend a few hours trying to debug the controller program. Nothing seems to be working. So where do we go from here? With an oscilloscope, the next step is easy. We connect channel A to the encoder's digital output port A and channel B to port B. While the signal amplitude and frequency are as expected, the shape of the waveform looks a bit off. To get a better picture of things, we can compare the waveform to a known good system. The answer quickly becomes clear. Excessive noise is our likely culprit. Upon inspection of the cabling, we find that the cable shield at the controller wasn't fastened down properly. A simple enough problem and a simple enough fix. But without the fluke scope meter, we might still be scratching our heads. While a DMM can give you precise amplitude and frequency values, only an oscilloscope can show you graphically the dynamic behavior of electrical signals. The more you can see, the more you can fix.